Hi everybody, it's Ms. Hernandez again, and this week I wanted to talk to you about an artist named Jason Messier. Jason Messier is a pop artist who uses objects to create different kinds of portraits. In this portrait, he created Big Bird out of different colored cereal. If you're noticing, he creates his portraits out of these objects and arranges them by shape, color, and sizes. He creates bigger details with bigger objects and smaller details with smaller objects. And these objects you can find in your own home. Jason Messier usually attaches his objects onto a board using staples and hot glue. But what we are going to do is we are going to arrange our own objects on the floor or table. No glue, tape, or staples needed. Similar to our last project, we're going to be collecting objects, but this time we're going to be creating a picture. You could use marbles or any pieces from a board game. Maybe you have random pens or markers or pencils to use to arrange. I like to use recyclable materials such as paper towel rolls and I cut them smaller so that way I have more of them to work with. I also like to use old rings or maybe you can use some toys. And clothing, scarves, gloves, t-shirts, sweaters, all that is very helpful. For our project, we're going to be creating a person, animal, or an object using found objects. So my first example is going to be a person. And when I think of a face, I'm thinking of a circle. So with a scarf, I made a nice big circle. Using these flower rings I have, I wanted to make nice bright eyes. And by using marbles that I found in an old board game, I was able to arrange them in a curved line to make a nice big smile. And I made sure that these marbles were touching so that way my line is clear to see. This person's gonna be outside with a hat and I cut a paper towel tube just a little bit shorter to create that nose. Now for the object example, I wanted to make a cupcake. So I'm folding this purple scarf and I'm adding it at the bottom to create that cupcake wrapper. Now using a rainbow scarf, I wanted to make rainbow frosting and I wanted to make sure it was a different color so that way you can tell the difference between the wrapper and the frosting. Using some marbles, I used it to pretend to be some sprinkles on top to give it a little bit more detail. Now for my last example, I wanted to create an animal that lives in the water. So I picked out all the blue Uno cards to create the top of the water here. Then I brought out my trusty rainbow scarf again and started to form the body of my animal that lives in the water. Using some cut paper towel tubes, I cut them very short to create bubbles. I used a marble for the eyes and a pen cap for the mouth. Then using yellow Uno cards, I created the fins of this animal. And since this animal is really swimming through that water, I got some more blue Uno cards and I arranged them around. And as you guessed it, I made a fish. So when you're searching for these objects around your home, you should be collecting six or more objects to create your image. Using only few objects makes it very hard for people to understand what your picture is, whether it's a person, animal, or an object. And also, it's not as interesting to look at. When you're searching for your objects at home, try to find some large objects like scarves and shirts medium-sized objects like maybe some playing cards or toys and maybe some smaller objects like pennies and marbles. This will help you make larger details and smaller details. Now if it's really nice outside you can collect leaves, sticks, rocks and arrange them to create people, animals, and objects as well. This is just a fun new way you could do this project. After you've arranged all of your items to make it look like an object, or maybe an animal, or maybe even a person, please take a picture and upload it to this assignment. Don't forget to add a title. And 
always remember to do your best and have fun.